Ann Barclow, horticulturist with the city of Greenwood. We're over here at the city garden. You can probably hear the traffic as we talk. We're going to talk about mulch today. Many of you probably experience you have hardwood mulch, there's pine straw, and there's leaf mulch. And mulch has great benefits. As you can see, let's get down here with the camera and let's show you some of this mulch here. Look at how nice and thick that is. See, the thickness is important to get the, the suppression. This is your shredded hardwood mulch. And we've got about three inches here. And that's about right. You want to do uh, three to not more than settler, not more than six inches. Mulch helps in so many different ways in the garden. It helps to keep the, the soil moist. It helps to keep, uh, uh, it, it actually adds nutrients to the soil as it breaks down, which gosh knows we need in this clay soil here. It, uh, it helps it keep it moderate as far as the temperature goes. Uh, so there's, there's just so many things you can do with mulch and how important it is in the garden. You know, when rain hits a bare ground, it can really damage it. And so if you have a mulch on it to protect it, it'll be really good for it. So we, um, we're gonna go ahead and, and look at some other areas of mulch right now. All right, we're continuing on with our mulching. And, you know, gosh, we sure want to suppress weeds as much as we can. This garden is awfully weedy, and so we're going to want to put a lot of mulch down. In this particular area is our perennial garden, and so we, we want to put down a really nice mulch to help feed the soil. And the best one is leaf mulch. And I, you probably see the city trucks going out, the leaf truck, and it collects the leaves. Uh, in front of people's houses and it shreds it up and then they pile it at the city yard and it breaks down into this beautiful mulch that actually has all kinds of beneficial fungi and oh, oh uh, bacteria, good bacteria and little microbes and all kinds of things that help the soil. So in these beds, we decided to put in leaf mulch. So let's go down and look at it. And over here, you'll see a nice pile. Oh man, look at that, look at that. Now you need a microscope to see all the good stuff that's going on in there. But we know it's there and it's, you can see how well it's broken down. The earthworms love this kind of thing. Now we're gonna spread this out, but an important thing about spreading around plants, this is a milkweed. We're gonna wanna keep it away from the, the stem, because it can rot. You know, I often, you know, one of my stories I always tell is that down here where the stem connects with the soil, it's like its lungs. So you don't want to smother it. And so, um, so we just keep that a little bit away from there, but the rest of the mulch can go on out. So when we talk about not piling, mulch around that you often think about people uh, sometimes landscapers that don't really know pile mulch around a tree they call that volcano mulch and it's very harmful to the tree so it's the same sort of theory in these so we hope you learned a lot about mulching in the garden today. It's getting hot, so we want to hurry up and finish. So I'm going to finish this video. So thanks for checking in with us.